afternoon, witches. So this is the fifth time recording this video because my phone decides to kick me out after six minutes of recording. So therefore, we're going to break these videos into smaller, easier digestible pieces. I am not going to go over this list of last year's goals. Uh, last year, it'll be in two days. Um, I'm going to say that for another time. I'm going to actually do a little bit of a more reintroduction video since I've been gone from this channel for such an amount of time. Uh, I want to preface this by saying I have never been Wiccan. Now, when you first start researching witchcraft, uh, the two words kind of seem synonymous, and there has been many a Facebook battle over this topic, which I have enthusiastically thrown myself into. Wicca is a religion, witchcraft is a practice. They're not synonymous with each other. Now, Wicca in general has always kind of made me uncomfortable, and I don't know why, I can't explain it, but there's Christian witches out there, and I think that's cool, I think that's awesome. Uh, you can practice any way you like, you can steal things from any type of practice if you want to work with dragons, if you want to work with the fae. So, Everybody's path is kind of different and they take a lot of different elements. I say steal, maybe that's not the best word. But they borrow a lot of different elements from a lot of different places. So, having been interested in Greek and Roman deities and workings for most of my life, um, I am now actually starting to dip my feet into something a little different. And that's not directly related to all of the ancestry work that I have been doing this year and last year, uh, but it's definitely helped with that. So, um, my family has been less than cooperative with giving me names and information uh, regarding my lineage, but when I get it, I input it into the website that I've been using. And I think I have three out of four lines traced back all the way to about 600 AD, I believe, about that. And then that's when they kind of fall apart and history is a little vague, but can you imagine? That is so many ancestors. Um, something that actually has made me very excited, very touched is the fact that, as far as I can trace back, there have been several members of royalty in my blood, but literally everyone is related by some way or another, so everybody has that one person to brag about. Um, but it was particularly special to me because after I changed my name and am going by my chosen name, I found someone or several people in my lineage that share the same name, and uh, it probably would have been easier if it was Theodore or Franklin, um, but there was a Nordic king called Magnus, and then his son was Magnuson, and I thought that was actually really special, and it made me kind of feel better because you find someone with your same unique name, and it's kind of a big deal. So, um, I haven't actually done the DNA test yet. It's expensive and I'm poor. So, uh, going off of that, I've kind of started to get into the Norse path. I've been watching a lot of <sighs> North heathenism and paganism videos. Uh, and it's, it's very interesting. It's very captivating. It pulls me in a way that the Greek stuff doesn't, I guess. It's different. It's it's different. It's like you have a hundred different past lives and they're all pulling you in different directions and you feel connected to a million different things in a lot of different ways. So it's confusing uh, and it just feels more like The Greek thing takes me as to where my soul is at peace there. It's like, this is where I want to end up. This is where I want to stay. My soul is at peace. Uh, it's just kind of like that end-all place where I belong. And then when I look at pictures or descriptions or listen to that old Nordic music, it feels more like 
like home, like you're returning there after a long journey kind of thing. More like a uh, home, like a physical home. And then the other one is more like a spiritual home, if that, if that makes sense. Anyhow, I had been turned off of this Norse path for many reasons a long time ago. Uh, most of them being, there is a lot of, it's just riddled, it's just riddled with really bad people and people who believe they're better than everyone else, if you get my drift. Uh, and that is negativity I do not want to uh, embrace and even, mm -mm, I don't want to get into that. So I feel like it is important for me being young, being a trans man, all these things. It is important for me to go into this practice as a beacon of hope, if you will, for others who are scared to get into it because of the bullies who are taking this far too seriously and being racist and being awful. So I have more to say on that topic, um, but this video would be half an hour long. So, it is really hard to find information and to find YouTubers without getting into all that, all of that. And it's really disheartening because you don't have to be an awful person. You don't. You don't need to excuse your awful behavior with, well, back in my day, etc. No. So, I am slowly wading into this new area, I guess, if you will of um, exploring what it means to me, and I haven't had any deities really pulling me, but it may happen. I know I was going to get into this when I started with the runes, but I kept getting this insistent, do the runes, do the runes, do the runes, in my head. So, we're going to work with that. Uh, we're getting into it, and I am definitely not leaving my old interests I'm not leaving my Greek deities. I just, I don't know, I think it's time for my path to kind of open up and expand a little bit. And I am excited to share with you uh, where this journey takes me. So I will see everyone in the next video and I hope you have a wonderful night. Blessed be and yeah, see you soon.